What's up everybody, OT for Tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bodyguard's Link case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. This is Bodyguard's new case for the iPhone and it is actually $29.99 on their website. You can purchase it directly from their website. The link to purchase will be down below. It comes in a wide variety of colors and I'm guessing in the future they will be selling replacement bottoms and replacement tops so that way you can mix and match your cases they may not do this or they may I don't know but on the back it says it's highly customizable so you can get different bottoms to go with your top and there is not much in the box except for the case itself so we'll go ahead and jump straight into the review as you can see there is a piece of white styrofoam type cushy material going down the center of the top and bottom parts of the case and that's to prevent scratching so you don't scratch the back of your phone sliding it in and out and I've had no issues with the side of the case you know, scratching the sides of my phone when sliding it in and out, which is good considering this is made of like a hard plastic material. It also has a silky smooth type matte finish on the back, and I really like the way that feels. To install the phone, you're gonna wanna go ahead and slide the phone into the top part of the case, take the bottom half of the case, line it up, and just push it on. It'll kinda click in a little bit, and you'll feel a good snug fitting. And that's just a quick look what it's supposed to look like from the back. Taking a look at the side, you can see there's actual a, a, mat, a big cutout for the mute toggle switch and volume up and down buttons. And it's actually very recessed. You can feel the indent a lot with your thumb. And we'll get more into that later. Taking a look at the home button, you can see it's also cut out. They do not include built-in buttons with this case. So if that's the kind of case you're looking for, this is not the case for you. But it's not bad. I mean, they are recessed. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see your cutout for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your lightning port your microphone and speaker and they are accessible with third-party chargers and headphones so you should have not, no issues there and this is a quick look at the back as i stated it's made of like a smooth matte finish and it's very comfortable a very soft plastic feel it is a little bit slippery in the hand because of the soft plastic but it gives you good grip but if it's on your lap it could slide off your lap but as far as in the hand it does provide good cushiony grip this is what i was talking about with the cutouts for the volume up and down the mute toggle switch you know they are recessed you're definitely going to feel the cutout there I've had no problems for one-handed use. Occasionally, I might have to use the opposite thumb to access the mute toggle switch, but for the most part, one-handed use is not a problem. The camera and flash cutout on the back is more than accessible. I've had no issues with washout. It's just a little bit too big for my liking. I like it a little bit more form-fitting. Now, because this is a Bodyguard's case, it is 100% compatible with the Bodyguard's Pure Tempered Glass screen protector. And if you put the two together, you have excellent drop protection. And it should stand up to most of your drops. Now, it's not going to give you the cushion protection that the OtterBox Defender offers. This is what I was talking about with the recessed power button. It's not bad. I didn't have too many issues with it, but you can definitely feel that it's there. And it's still 100% compatible with one-handed use. Now, this is the only complaint that I have about the case, and this is just a manufacturer defect. Your case should not be this way, but I have contacted the company and they're more than helpful. And it's just that my case does not fit together good. As you can see, there's a small little gap there and it just, it doesn't fit. Even the corners didn't fit very well. As you can see, I can wiggle them on and pop them on back into place. But as I said, this is just a manufacturer defect and they are working out this issue with me. So go to the website and check them out for yourself. As I stated, it's $29.99. If you like this video, drop me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and make sure you follow me on Twitter so that way I can answer your questions a lot faster.